Um, now moving on to the Global Muslim Travel Index, it serves as a compass guiding travel professionals through the latest developments and trends within the dynamic world of halal travel. To start off, we will now invite Ms. Aisha Islam, Senior Vice President of Southeast Asia for MasterCard for her opening remarks. Ms. Aisha, please. Hello, Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon everyone. I know it's been a bit of a long day, so I promise I'm going to try to make my speech a bit short, but hopefully be able to focus on some key aspects today. I do of course want to start off by welcoming everyone here today who are here in person, as well as those who are joining us virtually. As we launch the ninth edition of the MasterCard Global, uh, Master, sorry, MasterCard Crescent Rating Global Muslim Travel Index. I also want to take an opportunity to thank some very uh, special guests as well. Um, so welcome and thank you, of course, to the Honorable Miss Myra Paz um, Valderoso Abu Bakr. Thank you, of course, for cutting short your holiday to join us today. I'd also like to welcome Mr. Amar Jamal Ashur, Head of Saudi Citizens Affairs. Welcome, sir. I'd like to uh, welcome, of course, Her Excellency Mercedes Alonso Frail. You are a friend and we keep on visiting and meeting each other every year. I hope you continue to do that uh, in the future years as well. Uh, his Ambassador and His Excellency Alisher Koyamov, welcome to you too. Um, I'm very happy to say all of these people's names because I have been to all of these countries, but I look forward, of course, to visiting Uzbekistan soon. As we move on, um, I also want to take the opportunity to thank, of course, and welcome Mr. Terence. I know we're going to hear from you very shortly. And of course, most importantly as well, Mr. Nizran bin Nuruddin, Director General of the Islamic, Tur Islamic Tourism Center of Malaysia. S and welcome, of course, lastly, to all of our other distinguished guests and friends and, uh, from the media. If we really look at travel growth, I want to talk a little bit about what we're seeing over the last few years. The travel industry has really been seeing recovery. But this year, specifically, it's all about breaking boundaries. I know we talked a lot about that boom, boom, boom. This is what boom, boom, boom really is translating into, breaking of boundaries when it comes to travel. According to research from the MasterCard Economics Institute, passenger traffic is flying high and consumer spending on tourism remains robust. That is both in terms of value as well as in terms of volume. For example, if you look at the last 10 record spending days in the global cruise and airline industries, you will be surprised as I was to know that nine of those 10 days have occurred just this year in 2024 and we're only in May. We are, of course, witnessing the same bounce back when it comes to the Muslim travel market. Last year, there were approximately 145 million international visitors globally. This year, the number is expected to reach as high as 168 million. Special mention also goes out to many of the markets in Southeast Asia which is leading the way as a destination of choice for many Muslim travelers. This year's GMTI ranks once again Indonesia as well as Malaysia as the two top OIC destinations for Muslim arrivals. Meanwhile, Singapore leads the pack uh, amongst the non-OIC destinations with Thailand who has secured the fifth position. This shows most importantly to me, both the diversity as well as the inclusivity when it comes to the tourism landscape across the region. I'm also very heartened when it comes to the changing demographics when it comes to the Muslim travel industry. The rise of the Muslim travel is a significant opportunity for both tourism destinations as well as for travel operators. However, in order to seize this opportunity, we must first understand what is actually driving or fueling this growth. 
we believe, or rather one of the key trends emerging from the GMTI 2024 is the impact of these changing demographics within the Muslim travel market. The global Muslim population is expanding and tends to be young, with 70% of their age under, the, under 40. This represents a dynamic market for the travel industry, a demographic that is tech savvy, socially active, and eager to explore new travel experiences. Obviously, I'm not one of those tech savvy because I have a physical speech, but I saw many of my other colleagues come on stage using their mobile phones. But it's an interesting way to see how you need to cater to the new emerging segments and what is really driving them and what is creating awareness for them. I'm also very pleased to see the importance um, of the growing or the growing importance of female Muslim travelers. There are approximately 436 million Muslim women between the ages of 21 and 50 globally. And as we will all agree, they are hugely influential when it comes to travel planning. This is why it's extremely and particularly exciting to be able to have seen that this year's GMTI expands its rankings to include the leading destinations for female Muslim travelers as well. It is crucial to understand that the travel industry has to engage and be aware of emerging trends to be able to develop new strategies to really guide its success. We believe that integrating technology into travel services will be key. In particular, what we've seen from a MasterCard perspective as well, is that being able to offer a digitally connected and personalized travel experience is critical. We've already seen this when it comes to also shift when it, uh, towards cashless transactions. I'm sure most of you in this room are using mobile wallets or QR codes or your contactless cards in order to be able to make payments effectively and safely. And lastly, we're also seeing something new emerge. Whilst my name is Aisha Islam, so my initials may uh, be confusing, we are seeing the emergence of AI, i.e. artificial intelligence. And that also is reshaping the travel industry by opening the door to unprecedented levels of, customiz of customization. The truth is, as we see more and more, AI is creating hyper-personalized experiences that are going to redefine the way we travel. And even though this is early days, we've started seeing many successes of this in many parts of the world. We believe that by adapting to these and other technological advancements, we can further accelerate the evolution of the Muslim travel landscape. I'd like to end by saying firstly, MasterCard is incredibly proud of our partnership with Crescent Rating. I met Fuzzle more than 10 years ago when I was in the Middle East. I was based out of Dubai, and I don't think any of us expected that we would come as far as we have. So congratulations to both of us. Thank you, Fuzzle. Um, as we talked about the 10-year partnership, it is a true testament of collaboration, I believe, between MasterCard and Crescent Rating and what we're trying to do in, of course, the Islamic travel space. We believe that the insights and recommendations from all of our reports, of course, GMTI being the most popular and famous one, have been able to benefit the travel industry. We hope that the resources we provide to our stakeholders along with the tools in being able to understand the needs of the Muslim consumers will help further grow and fuel the growth behind the travel market. Once again, thank you, Fuzzle. Thank you, everyone, for your time. And of course, now I believe it's the unveiling of some more awards and some more information. So Fuzzle, back to you. Thank you once again.